Hey gang fighters. After posting our new mini news video where I showed off a new war machine model, someone asked how to use a war machine war jacks in gang fight. So I wanted to put together a quick video showing how I go about building their stats using our Aeon sci-fi rules. If you're new here, gang fight is our universal skirmish rule set that allows you to play skirmish battle games in a variety of settings with any models you wish. The rules are available for free on our website at gangfightgames.com. So let's start with the Signar Corsair Light Warjack. Looks like the model comes with a bunch of different weapon options, but I'm going to just go with what's shown for the painted model. And he'll be pretty easy to build with our online gang builder on our website. But to make it easier for you to read, I transferred everything over to these cards. Unlike playing War Machine in Gang Fight, there won't be a Warcaster using their powers to tell it what to do. It'll be able to act and have its own actions just like any other model in your party. So we'll have to assign a race just like any other model. There's lots of options for races, and you can pick whichever one you think has the abilities to suit your warband. But I went with Terran just to keep things easier. For the model type or class, I went with a base level scout. Being a light mech, he'll be a bit weaker, and that's a good way to represent that. Since he's on a 40 millimeter base, he's gonna need to be a large model. So if we give him squid armor, or squad integrated dreadnought armor, that automatically upgrades him from medium to large. This armor basically turns an average model into a mech. For his other equipment, I gave him a basic hand weapon to keep his point cost lower, and I gave him an energy assault rifle that will make it so his enemies can't drop dice when they try to negate their wounds. Scouts only have one perk, so I gave him marksman so he'll be able to shoot a little better. And he also gets the true grit ability for being a Terran, and the boom headshot ability for being a scout. So he comes in at 204 points. Now let's take a look at his big brother. Even though his base is a little bit bigger, he's also considered a large model. But he's a heavy warjack. So instead of a base level scout, I upgraded him to a mid-level operative. He'll also need squid armor, but I gave him different upgrades. I went with targeting upgrades and a comms upgrade. Since he has a big old crusher fist, I counted that as a vibro weapon, which gives him extra damage. Since his gun is smaller and looks like it would have a shorter range, I made that a plasma thrower, which will be great for negating any enemy armor bonuses. His perks are lightning reflexes and hard target. He's also got true grit for being a Terran, and his operative ability lets him reroll any dice on a single test. He comes in at 221 points. There's a huge variety of weapons and perks and abilities you can use to make your Warjacks unique, or any other mech model. Just remember to give them squid armor to start with and you'll be all set. That's it for now. I'll be doing a bigger deep dive into War Machine later, but I just wanted to get this out there for those of you that might have been interested. Thanks again for checking us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching.